Sprinkler systems absolutely save lives. I'm not aware of any fire deaths in a commercial building which has had sprinklers installed where uh, someone died because of a normal fire. Now you've got to remove the 9-11 events where you're taking an airplane into a building. But beyond that, in just a normal building, um, I'm not aware of any sprinkler deaths and I've never heard of any reported in a residential uh, structure of any kind where the sprinklers were installed and a fire occurred. A, the common sprinkler system that would probably be installed in the average residence would be what's known as a wet system. Uh, and that's where water is actually in the pipes all the way from the, the uh, edge of the house or the water meter to the sprinkler head, um, which is mounted in the either the ceiling or wall of the room, which is determined by the uh, specs for the home um, by an engineer. They determine where these go. Um, this would be screwed into the water line and stays there until um, a fire occurs, at which time the heat uh, generated from the fire will activate the sprinkler head and the water is released into the room, uh, suppressing the fire until fire personnel arrive to do the complete extinction. There are people who, who do commercial uh, installation that do sprinklers that you could probably get to do for a residential job as well. So it's becoming more and more common for people to, or for businesses to do sprinkler uh, installation. New home or an existing structure, either one. It's easier probably in a new home because you can lay it out right with your blueprints and have everything installed before they put up drywall and, and start putting in carpets and, and other things. But you can retrofit uh, an existing home. They can go in and instead of using ceiling mounts, they can use uh, wall mounts and you can uh, cover most of the areas in an existing home with sprinklers uh, with a fairly uh, modest expense and without a lot of interruption in your daily life. Sprinkler systems provide an opportunity to suppress a fire long enough for people to get out. Um, what we'll see most likely will be the room with no sprinkler involved in it uh, will reach a, the temperatures necessary to go from a small initial fire to this room flashing over where all ordinary combustibles in the room will be on fire most likely in less than five minutes. In contrast what you're going to see in the room with the sprinkler that once it activates it will suppress that fire it won't extinguish it but it will suppress it for a long enough for anyone involved in, in being in the room or the room next to it would have a chance to get out of the house.